Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I've been MIA for a few weeks, but today I have a brand new video where I am sharing a little bit of what's been going on. Um, I'll update you guys on things and then of course I have some cleaning motivation for you. We had a little bit of prep before we had Hurricane Helene hit here and then we lost power for four days and so I'm doing some cleanup and restocking after the hurricane. So y'all stick around, especially if you need a little cleaning motivation today. Okay friends, good morning. I'm definitely gonna catch you up on all the things that have been going on. It has just been a crazy month in our house between hurricanes and kiddos getting sick and then I got a stomach virus and it's just been so much so I'm so sorry that I've been MIA for so long it's definitely not like me to go so long without posting so I hope you guys understand and I am gonna be getting back to my normal weekly Monday schedule so thank y'all so much for understanding that life gets crazy throws you curveballs and sometimes there's just nothing you can do about it and I am just so grateful that y'all are here and hopefully we have a great rest of 2024 and we can get back to our weekly Monday videos. So in today's video, I'm actually sharing a few days of cleaning. So the first day here, I am sharing what I did to prepare before Hurricane Helene hit Savannah. This is actually two days before Hurricane Helene hit and we honestly didn't think it was gonna be that bad since we were told we'd only get the outer bands. But of course, with these storms, you never really know. And I wanted to just make sure that our house was in order just in case we did lose power. So I started with tidying up, I made my bed, and then here I'm in the kitchen, I'm gonna go ahead and unload and reload the dishwasher and just get the kitchen all nice and cleaned up. We definitely didn't want any dirty dishes in the sink or in the dishwasher for days just in case we lost power. But like I said, I did not think that it was gonna be bad. I just wanted to make sure we did this prep just in case. Getting things cleaned up always gives me a little bit of peace of mind, especially before a big storm. It's so much easier to deal with things afterward if the house is somewhat put together. I didn't expect anything too crazy, but boy, was I wrong. So the storm ended up being way worse than we thought. We ended up having about 85 mile per hour winds through Richmond Hill, which is where I live. It's right outside of Savannah. And we ended up losing power for almost four days. Some people in our area were out for a whole week though. There were trees and power lines down everywhere. Some neighborhoods even were blocked off from fallen trees. Our yard ended up being fine. We didn't have any big trees fall or anything. We had a lot of debris, but our neighbors ended up having a massive pine tree fall. But luckily it fell like across their yard but it was so crazy to see how big that pine tree was and thankfully it did not fall on their house. But since we were without power and also cell service, like nobody could contact us, we couldn't get any text message or anything from our house, we ended up having to drive into town to get any cell service. So we ended up going and staying with my in-laws for the weekend because they had a full house generator and we were able to take showers and have a little bit of light to get ready in the mornings, all that kind of stuff. But of course, once we did end up getting power back, we came back home and everything, pretty much everything in our refrigerator had to go. So I'm gonna finish the tidying up before the hurricane, which is just basically finishing up the dishes and tidying up the living room. And then we will cut to after the hurricane and all of the refrigerator clean out. <laughs> My best friend didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high, every night with you. You and me so clueless.
Okay, we are back at the house. This was after our power had come back on and I started with cleaning out the refrigerator. So our refrigerator was slam full. We had so many things in here. And if you see me talking, it's because my husband Chance is sitting back behind the camera. He's actually working on his computer while I was cleaning out the refrigerator. And I just kept asking him like, do you think this will be okay? Do you think this needs to be thrown out? And pretty much everything in our refrigerator had to be thrown out except for some like sauces, I think pickles we kept, but the majority of the stuff in our refrigerator was thrown out. And as much as I love a good clean refrigerator, like this refrigerator needed to be clean anyways, it just makes me sick to throw all this stuff away because I'm like, oh, it's such a waste. And of course, also a lot of money to just throw out a bunch of stuff. After I had my bag filled up, it was so heavy, I couldn't even pick it up. So I had to drag it across the floor to get it outside. And I did end up having Chance help me <laughs> behind the scenes. But you know what, after going through all of this, I'm so grateful, it could have been so much worse. We were without power for a few days and had some spoiled food, but so many families have faced so much more devastation from the hurricanes this past month. My heart goes out to all the people who have been impacted by these hurricanes. Some are dealing with major damage to their homes and tragically, some have even lost loved ones due to these storms. I've been praying for them and will continue to do so as they rebuild their homes, their lives. So if you can please keep those families in your prayers as well, that would be amazing. So if you or someone you know in your family or a friend have gone through something this last month with any of these storms, definitely let us know in the comments so that way we can pray for you specifically. Okay, I've got all the food thrown away. I've got all the containers cleaned out. So now I'm just gonna wipe down the inside of the refrigerator and then we're gonna go grocery shopping. Now, before I went grocery shopping, I did end up making a meal plan for the week. So I'll share that with y'all so you can see what we were planning on eating. And then I went grocery shopping at both Publix and Walmart. I went to Publix first, but as you can imagine, they were very picked over. And where we live is kind of far out, so Publix is the nearest grocery store to us, so it's also the nearest grocery store to a lot of people that live out near us. So I'm not very surprised that it was picked over, but a lot of things were out of stock, so I ended up just grabbing a few things that we needed on our list and then doing the bulk of our shopping at Walmart. But I will share a grocery haul from Publix, I'll put that stuff away, and then I'll show a grocery haul from Walmart for the rest of the things that we needed. <laughs>
now that the refrigerator is all cleaned out, I'm going to put all the things back in here that made it. Now this ranch was actually in our pantry unopened. We had a whole fresh new bottle of ranch. So I was able to put that in our fridge. And then it's just crazy because we had so many things in our refrigerator before that the condiments were like over overflowing to the containers inside of the fridge. But now they all fit in the door of the fridge, which is nice. Now the milk and eggs are also fresh because we took them with us to our in-laws house. They were full brand new bottles of milk and eggs. So we took them with us and brought them back with us. So those are good to go as well. It feels so good to have this task done. And I'm gonna go grocery shopping, but let me show you our meal plan for the week really quick. All right, so I made a meal plan for the week. So I figured I would show you guys what we plan on eating this week before I get all the groceries. We are gonna do chicken fajitas on Monday in the crock pot, a dump and bake meatball casserole on Tuesday, crock pot, um, pot roast on Wednesday and then Thursday we're gonna do chicken broccoli and rice casserole um, Friday's out Saturday's out and then pizza we'll do some frozen pizzas on Sunday after church all right I went to Publix which was very picked over but I'm gonna give you guys a quick little grocery haul um, we got some cheese they were out of shredded cheese so I got this block cheddar cheese and I'm gonna shred it myself some Swiss cheese, we've got some turkey meat for sandwiches because we do have bread. I got a couple of these Core Power protein shakes, some new mayonnaise, some new sour cream. They hardly had any broccoli left, so I had to get this one, which is fine. It's just steam in the bag, broccoli. Some fruit. I was surprised they had eggs, but they did have eggs. Chicken stock, pico de gallo for tacos. I got this cream of cheddar and mushroom soup for chicken broccoli rice casserole that we're gonna do. Um, a big old thing of ground beef, which all the meats were very picked over. Some cranberry raspberry juice, taco shells. I got these and I got these nacho cheese ones. Um, some chips and then I did get some pizzas but I already put those in the freezer and we got a big thing of waters but they were out of most drinks um, I was surprised we got waters, but I'm going to put this stuff away really quick and then we will go shopping at Walmart. I guess I can help myself. Would you All right, so I ended up going to Walmart because we just needed a whole lot of stuff for meals this week that I could not get at Publix. So I'm gonna give you a really quick Walmart grocery haul. All right, so starting over here, we've got string cheese. We had to throw away a ton of string cheese out of our fridge, and this is one of our kids' favorite snacks lately. So had to get some more of those. Um, mozzarella for our meatball casserole that we're doing this week. Some Fiesta Blend cheese. We use this on tacos, fajitas, all the things. We've got boneless, skinless chicken breast, taco seasoning, fajita seasoning. I'm also doing a roast this week, so I got some uh, slow cooker savory pot roast and au jus gravy, and then a couple things of mashed potatoes to do. We've got some sriracha sauce. I had to throw away our other sriracha sauce, and I use this on chicken wraps for lunch a lot. Um, some salsa for the fajitas that we're doing in the crock pot this week, bananas, Rotel. I like to use Rotel on so many different things, but I pretty much got this can of Rotel for my chicken wraps that I do. We've got some chocolate chip cookies, brownies, fudge rounds, all the snacks. I also needed to get more goldfish and Cheez-Its. We were running low on both of those, and my kids love these in a little snack mix for a snack for school. We've got two yellow onions for recipes this week, some chocolate chip muffins, shredded lettuce, garlic bread to go with our meatball casserole, um, some little yellow potatoes. We've got Prego traditional pasta sauce for the meatball casserole. Some carrots for our stew that we're doing. Um, bell peppers for fajitas. 
Um, I got this premium pork sausage. I'm gonna do a breakfast casserole as well and have that prepped for the week. We've got ground beef. We've got our chuck roast, some sour cream, these orange cinnamon rolls. I'm gonna make those cinnamon rolls that you make them to look like pumpkins. They're so cute. Um, and then some biscuits, pretzels, my meatballs, broccoli, because I figured the kids would probably want this on the side with the roast that we're doing and then penne pasta for my meatball casserole. All right, so that is everything that I got at Walmart. I'm gonna put this up really quick and we will be all good to go for the week. Okay, I was in a rush to get all the refrigerator items put away, so I didn't film that because we had to run out of the house for practices. And then this is actually later in the evening and I was putting away some of the pantry items and just decided to film some of this since I still had some of these items out. It's such a relief to get things back in order after all the chaos of this storm. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me as we prepared and then recovered from Hurricane Helene. It was definitely a stressful few days, but I'm so glad we're back on track. Let me know in the comments if you've ever been through a storm like this and how you prepare your home ahead of time. And thank you so much for watching and being here. I truly appreciate you guys so, so much. And I do plan on getting back to my normal schedule and posting every Monday. So I hope you guys have an amazing week. And I will see you back here next Monday for a brand new video. Bye. Thank you.